Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I did this wooden ventriloquist puppet doll thingy. So if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep on watching. Alright, so starting off, I just drew like half circles on my eyelids with a white eyeliner pencil. And then I'm going to be filling them in with NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk as my base. Then just going in with a white eyeshadow, this is Taco from Sugar Pill, and setting that with the white eyeshadow. Next for my base, I'm going to be using a dark brown and a light brown body paint. These are both from Chameleon. And I'm just kind of mixing those two together to get a certain shade, and I'm just going to fill in my whole face area down to my neck around here. Alright, so once you look like a black person, oh my god, this is obviously too dark. So I'm going to go in with Chameleon Almond Face Paint and just go over that to lighten up the color because this is way too dark. Alright, so that's much better. If ever you wonder what you would look like if you were really tanned or black, you should totally try this out. I was like laughing my ass off. Anyway, so now I'm going in with a white face paint from Chameleon and I'm just going to highlight certain areas. Now with that same light brown body paint I used before, we're going to start drawing the kind of lines like that grain there is in the wood, just with a very light hand and using a bit of product. Next, using the dark brown body paint again, I'm just going to go in and darken up some of those lines. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it's wood. It's not perfect. Next, I'm going in with a kind of dark brown eyeshadow to shade those lines to diffuse them a bit so I'm just using this one from MAC this is handwritten Next, going in with a lighter brown eyeshadow, this is Cork from MAC. And I'm just going to be doing the same thing, pretty much. Next, I'm going to go in with that dark brown eyeshadow again, and we're going to start contouring. Next you want to start slowly carving out the cheek area to make them pop out. So you can just pretty much smile to see where your apples are and just kind of follow that circle. Then I'm just going with a black eyeshadow. This is Corrupt from Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to darken the contouring that I just did just so it stands out a bit more. 
just go slowly with this and a little bit light handed at first so you don't put too much. Then I'm going back in with the black eyeshadow and I'm just going to fit, fit, I always mess up all the time. Anyway, I'm going to fill in um, just above the eye area here, above the lid. Going back in with the white eyeshadow again, I'm just going to highlight some more. Going in with a black face paint, this is from Chameleon. I'm just going to define some of those areas. Next we're going to draw some eyebrows. Starting off like where my natural eyebrow starts and then just pulling it up to make like a evil brow. Alright, so I went in and darkened some areas. I kind of lightened it here a bit just so that it didn't go all the way up to the nose. I darkened more under here, around the mouth to make the lips pop out a bit more. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of blush. This is optional, you don't have to. But I'm just going to add a little bit of a light pink blush. This is Pink Soon from MAC. Going back in with the white face paint, I'm going to highlight even more. Next, I'm going to go and do the lips. For that, I'm going to be filling them in red. I'm going to be using this Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Red Rum. This is honestly like the best red ever, like you have to get it. This red will suit anybody, it's just amazing, I love it. Finally, we're going to draw on the eyes. I'm taking a red eyeshadow. This is Love Plus from Sugar Pill. And with a small brush, I'm just going to draw a circle onto the eyelid. Then taking a red face paint, just defining them a little bit more. Remember to keep your eyes shut when this is wet. Next, I'm taking a red face paint and just drawing on a bow tie. So here's the final look. 